He could still be your fourth option scoring 16 points per game. It's not, I just don't, it, it's too, he's too young to really put a, a ceiling or a cap I, on it. He could be a 20 point yeah. scorer, but from what I've seen, the inconsistency, I think he'll get better, but I could see him being a third or fourth if you're, a, you know, in the NBA finals. It feels like you're hinting at the shift that we're seeing in the NBA. The mm -hmm. dawn of the big three, the dawn of the super team. You need like four or five guys now. Yeah, those yeah. eras seem to be regressing, and it seems to be going back to what we saw more or less in the going to work era. Right. Where we knew going yep. into the Pacers and going into the Indiana series that it was a team full of hoops. It wasn't like, okay, big three just shut down. That's why when we got to the finals, I think a lot of Piston fans were like, ooh. I, I wasn't looking at that Lakers team like, oh, my gosh, a team full of legends. I was looking at them like, okay, two current legends and a bunch of guys that I'll tip my cap to. You know what I mean? I wasn't looking at Gary Payton and Carl Malone like, oh, my goodness, they're going to just come in here and absolutely be better than our guys. Who's Gary Payton going to shut down? Right, Rick? Johnson, <laughs> get out of here. He was too old at that point in time. No disrespect to the glove. But I was more concerned about those series leading up to the Lakers because of how stacked those teams were. And it wasn't necessarily stacked full of uh, superstar players. It was stacked full of players like Sadiq Bays, like you're saying. Mm -hmm. Those those mm -hmm. players that, whether they're scoring you know 25 a game or 16 a game, they're impacting the game in yeah. powerful ways and they're dependable. It's what we say we want out of Killian. Can you be efficiency in your dependable moments and what you're asked to do? Right. And so I do like that vibe that you're going because the champion, as well as the other team that was in the championship, neither one of those I would consider super teams or big threes or built up the ways that we saw some of our previous champions win, including Golden State in its first foray. Even though they were built through the draft, they were heavily dependent on their big three plus one. Right. Heavily. This championship plus Boston plus some of these other teams that we're looking at, they're more... Um, they're, they're teams that seem to have a lot more skill and talent spread out across yeah, it. More depth. I mean, you, especially now, like you go back then, it was the the Kyrie, Kevin Love, and LeBron. But nowadays, like you need to be six, seven deep to, to, to win a title. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is.